Hi everybody. I hope everybody's having a good summer. Um, I apologize right off the bat for my hair and how shiny I look today. It has been over a hundred degrees here in Texas for pretty much every day the last two months or more. Uh, so I'm just trying to stay comfortable and not working that well, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, so I decided to make this video because it has been a while, long, long time since I've made a music related video and I am a musician and a music teacher. And um, so I felt like, you know, um, I need to make something music related. So what I decided to do uh, is make a video of what I've been practicing for the summer. Maybe that's a thing uh, that people would be interested in if you're a, a musician. So anyway, um, I'm just going to get right into it so it doesn't take too long. So um, I have four instruments. My main instrument is the violin. My secondary instrument is the viola. And those are the two main instruments that I teach in school as well. I, I do orchestral strings uh, as a public school teacher. Um, I have also started teaching uh, mariachi the last couple of years. So I have a guitar and um, I've been trying to brush up on my guitar skills. And then I, a few years ago, got a bass guitar because uh, in the orchestral strings, you have the upright bass. And uh, some of the kids are interested in kind of transitioning towards bass guitar because they do have a lot of similarities. And of course, you know, bass guitar is pretty cool. So I got one of those just so I could kind of learn some basics and help the students uh, get, just kind of get started. I, nobody's gonna hire me to be in their band and play guitar or bass guitar, but you know, just to, to learn enough to help students do it. So before I get into what I'm practicing, I do want to um, show you this planner that I got, and I've had this for a couple of years. Uh, this is called the Musician's Practice Planner. I don't know if you can see it. And um, it is distributed by Hal Leonard. I believe I bought this at Char Products, which is a, a website all about string instrument products and uh, instruments and that sort of thing. I'll link them below so you can check it out if you are interested in uh, purchasing one of these. Um, and I'm guessing that the Hal Leonard website might sell them as well. But what I really like about this, it's very detailed in what uh, it shows you to practice. So for instance, um, for each day that you practice or each week, you've got the, the date at the top and um, you fill in your scales and arpeggios, etudes and exercises, your repertoire, and anything else that you're practicing. And then in this column, what are your specific goals for each of those aspects of your practice? And then on the next page for each day that you practice, what were your practice priorities? What is your tempo, your metronome marking that you're uh, using? Uh, how much time did you spend on each aspect of your practice? And what was your overall time spent that day? And that has that for seven days all the way down to the bottom of the page. Um, for me, because I'm trying to get more organized in my life, I, I got myself a, a planner for my daily life. Um, having this has been helpful to kind of keep me on track of what I'm practicing each week. Um, normally, because I'm in an orchestra, I would be practicing mainly my violin, but because it's summer and uh, the orchestra is on hiatus, um, I've had time to kind of, oh, let's work on some of the other instruments that I um, am involved with as well. So I've been kind of including all of them in this. And uh, if you're a serious uh, musician as far as your learning uh, and taking lessons, I would recommend getting something like this to help you keep track of your practicing. Uh, I have taught private lessons before, I'm not right now, but if I did start teaching private lessons again, this is something that I would highly recommend or maybe even require that my students get to keep track of what they're working on every week because I, I do think that this is a really useful tool. And I'm sure they have other ones out there that are similar to this, but this is just the one that I use. So let's get into what I'm practicing. Um, so for our scales and arpeggios, violin and viola, I'm doing the same thing. The Advanced Technique for Strings. It's published by Hal Leonard. It's part of the Essential Elements series, if you're familiar with 
uh, you know, beginner band or orchestra uh, methods in classroom. Uh, but this is a more, a little bit more advanced. These are all three active scales and arpeggios. There's also some shifting exercises and some bowing exercises. And I would uh, try to push some of my more advanced level students toward this. I mainly teach beginner through intermediate level students, but if I have somebody that's really on that high intermediate level end, I might push them towards these three octave scales. So that's what I'm doing too. Just It's always good to start with a scale and arpeggio. For violin, I'm kind of taking it down a notch for the etudes and exercises um, just because I want to spend more time on my repertoire. So for violin, I'm taking it a little bit simpler and I'm going with the Franz Wolfhart 60 Studies. This is volume two. Volume one is one through 30 and this is 31 through 60. And these are things that I would give some of my uh, more advanced level students to work on as well. So nothing really super challenging in here, but there's, there's always things that you can learn and improve on and just make sure that you're, you know, not getting rusty on certain types of bowings or whatever, and especially in case you have to teach this to someone. So this is what I'm working on for my studies and etudes and exercises. And then for my repertoire for violin, this is something I've had since college. It is the nine sonatas for violin and piano by Haydn. And um, this is distributed by Hal Leonard. I'm not sure where you can buy it other than maybe their website. Um, and also, I'm not sure about this other one either. Some of these are gonna be very widely available, such as these advanced technique books. You can probably get these on Amazon. But some other ones you're gonna to have to go to a, a place that specifically uh, sells sheet music. So I'm not sure about these two, but uh, definitely you can look them up if you're interested in. So yeah, I've been playing some of these since college. When I first started getting into studying classical music, Haydn was a composer that really connected for me for whatever reason. So I really wanted to, to play some of his music. So I got this book. I also have the piano part that goes with it. So now I just need to find a pianist to accompany me. Um, and then the only other thing with violin that I've been kind of working on is uh, I joined a group that does uh, like traditional type of music, fiddle music. So American fiddle music, Celtic fiddle music, and just kind of dabbling in that a little bit because I kind of think that's fun as well. So that's my violin repertoire right now. And then for viola, um, you know, again, the scales and arpeggios, we talked about that. But for exercises, I've been taking it a little bit more challenging on the viola. Um, these are the 41 Caprices by Campagnoli. Um, and this is a high school all state level here in Texas. Um, so I got this so that I could work on it with any student that might need help. Um, Occasionally I've had somebody at this level. So I decided for viola, since that's not my main instrument, I might need to go a little bit more challenging to just work on my viola skills. So I've been working on this one. And again, this is another one. I can't remember where I got this. It's been a number of years ago. But, um, you know, some of these you could look up and just see certain sheet music websites are going to sell these. So um, this is another more challenging one that I've been working on. And then I found, because I don't have a lot of viola repertoire, but I found another little book here. This is from, I got this from Sheet Music Plus, and it's 50 Famous Classical Themes for Viola. I had a discount code. What shall I buy? Oh, I should buy something for viola because I don't have a lot for viola. And um, it's just, it says easy and intermediate solos for the advancing viola player. And it's mainly pretty simple, basic stuff um, arranged for viola. Morning from Pierre Gant by Edvard Grieg, uh, Minuet One in G Major by Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, that type of thing, but arranged for a little bit more simplified for more of a beginner to intermediate viola player. I will say with this one, it doesn't even have the violas go to a fourth finger E on the A string, which I think is a little weird because you don't have to shift or anything. So that, I thought that was a little bit weird, but whatever. It's still got some fun songs in it. And um, like I said, I got this from Sheet Music Plus. I actually have an affiliate link with them. So I will put that down below too if anybody is interested in checking this out. They do have a lot 
of different sheet music for all different instruments. I don't know if they have some of this type of stuff, uh, the more challenging etude books, but they definitely have like actual songs and that sort of thing. And I do believe they also have these scale books as well. So I will put my affiliate link below in case anybody's interested. But yeah, a nice little fun little book of songs for viola. Uh, as far as guitar um, for exercises and repertoire, I really only have one book and this is called Contemporary Class Guitar. I've had this since college. This was the book that I used in my guitar class in college. Um, it's by a guy named Will Schmid not Smith. And again, this one says it's published by Hal Leonard, so it might be still available on their website. Um, it has different guitar chords. It has some fingering, finger style guitar, and uh, it also talks about different strum and rhythm patterns. So just to kind of brush up on my guitar skills and review to make sure that I, you know, know what I'm trying to do when I try to teach my students. Um, this has been something that it's that's been pretty good for that as well. And it has some songs in it too that you can uh, practice playing and singing along with yourself or practice playing the actual melody if you do the finger style. We don't do a whole lot, if any, finger style in mariachi, but um, still good to know. So I've been mostly practicing the chords and the uh, rhythm and strum patterns with this book here. And then for bass guitar, I have the Mel Bay's Complete Electric Bass Method. Um, and if you've played any instrument here in the US, you've probably seen a book for that instrument by Mel Bay. I, they somehow are into every type of instrument uh, that you might be in wanting to play. Um, this one is by Roger Filiberto, and this was actually given to me as a gift for Christmas, I think, one year. Um, so yeah, everything that I've been doing on bass guitar is out of this book. It's, it's uh, all about fingering. I've been working on uh, basically uh, plucking, strumming the strings with a good tone and rhythm because that's what bass guitar players have to do. You know, they have to help keep the rhythm uh, of the the music along with if you have drums or whatever. So mostly that's what I've been doing out of that. Now that my orchestra that I'm in is going to be starting back, I'll probably be spending more time on orchestra music, um, or on violin, excuse me. I'll be spending more time on violin music um, because that's going to be my main instrument. But, you know, for the summer, it's been kind of fun to, to uh, just get a little bit more into these other instruments as well. So yeah, that's what I'm practicing right now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. If you're a musician and you're practicing something and you'd like to share, leave me a comment about that too. And again, uh, for the uh, companies that, uh, that I do know of that sell some of these items that I've mentioned, I will put those in the information box below and do remember that the sheet music plus link is my affiliate link if anybody purchases using that link I do get a small percentage of that purchase um so yeah I hope everybody is having a great day stay cool <laughs> I know it's hard um and I will see you in the next video bye